baby gun. And I'm Miles Large Baby Slave. And welcome to Purchase Late Night. Tonight, streaming services, Miles. Sarah, when Hulu lets me choose my ad experience, I feel seen. Asking my father for the Netflix password I keep forgetting is the only time we talk these days, and I cherish those moments. HBO Go telling me I can't log in during winter break because I'm not a currently enrolled student makes me jizz in my little George. Oh, an absolute creamsicle, and we love that for you. And our newest cream-inducing love, Disney+. Plus. We're simply Ooh. gooping and gushing over this novel streaming library. What new cinematic masterpiece will Disney conjure up now that they have yet another unnecessary platform? Maybe a live-action Lady and the Tramp? Have you ever wanted to just wonder, wait, is this dog hot? <laughs> Did this CGI Cocker Spaniel just wink at me? Am I into that? <laughs> like... YOLO, okay? Okay. Revisit the made-for-TV movie classics that had you softly questioning your sexuality before you even knew what a dental dam was. Yes, I also demarcate time by when I found out what a dental dam was. You know, BDDK and ADDK. Before dental dam knowledge and after dental dam knowledge. <laughs> anyway, uh, classics like... Johnny Tsunami. Cadet Kelly, you can scream in my face any time, Christy Carlson Romano. High School, <laughs> High school Musical 7, Bad Grandpa. Uh -huh. Mickey Mouse Trap House. Smart House. Paul Blart Mall House. Monster House. <laughs> Ashley Tisdale closes Guantanamo Bay 2. And so many more. <laughs> we can name these classics all day, but I think it's time for a word from our sponsors. Miles. I agree, Sarah. Folks, <laughs> this week, Kaylin is sponsored by... Are you okay? Popcorn kernels. <laughs> Popcorn kernels. Okay, um, Keelan, it's also sponsored by Family Movies Where the Dog Dies. Oh, you thought you were watching a heartwarming story about a dad learning to be more involved in his family's life or about a young boy learning to be responsible? Yeah, fuck you, we're gonna kill a dog now. Why? Because it got rabies, you idiot. <laughs> Kid shoot his dog. Oh, but don't worry, your dog will live forever, asshole. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck you, that dog has no pulse. Family dog family movies where the dog dies. You have to laugh. You have to laugh. Uh, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> That's all from our sponsors this week. Next up, our newest segment, Thanksgiving Slams. This is where we air grievances about our family members that visit at Thanksgiving. It's kind of like a roast. Can I begin? Please. Uncle Dick. Yes, that's his real name. Yeah. You come by every year with a new girlfriend and eat too many of the Hawaiian dinner rolls. You talk about AI taking over and the singularity like it's an imminent threat. But you know what's the real imminent threat here? That greasy comb over. You stank! Boom! It's Thanksgiving. I'm actually liking this. Just keep going. And you know who else? Aunt Barbara. You always come around asking about my girlfriend, saying that you always knew I was gay from the second I came out of your sister. But you know who stinks more than I did when I was fresh in my mom's uterus? You, Aunt Barbara. You stink. Slam number two, two strikes in a row. Can we get a turkey? Can and we see three, Sarah? Furthermore, Grandma, you just turned 98, but you don't look a day above 250. You've had so many bones replaced. You're like that thought experiment about the boat where you wonder when the boat started being a different boat. There, Sarah. Those are some salacious Thanksgiving slams. Uh, but it's about time to wrap up our monologue and maybe calm down a little bit. Uh, Sarah, what can the audience expect for the rest of the show? Well, Miles, Party Pat will be on to discuss his PTV show. Little Cliff will be back on to play another song, and Dana Kirk will be closing out the show with some stand-up. Well, that's that, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> Why, certainly. What seems to be the problem? Look, I've been having some trouble fitting in with my friends. And why do you think that this is? Well, you see, sometimes I get the feeling that my friends don't appreciate me. Like, the other day, I was in the middle of telling this really funny story about how I stepped in some gum, and my friends didn't even pay me any mind. Hmm. Seems like your friends don't fully appreciate you. Yeah, that, that's what I just said. <laughs> What grade are you in? I'm in seventh grade. A chapter of my life that's full of confusion and suffering. No one will ever understand my pain. Now, what kinds of problems have you been facing? I don't expect you to relate because you're an adult. You don't know what it's like to be an adolescent. 
Well, now, don't forget, I was once your age for an entire year. I guess that's a good point. Anyway, lately I've been feeling down in general. It all started one day when I was listening to Linkin Park, and it made me realize how dark life is. That sounds very unfortunate. You mentioned your friends before. You know what I suggest? You should be extra nice to your friends. You should be nice to everyone, because then everyone's going to want to be your friend. That's how the golden rule works. <laughs> I don't think it's that simple. People my age like to have cool friends, not boring, nice friends. You kids confuse me sometimes. I thought we were here to address my confusion, not yours. You're right. I'm listening. Wait, hold on. I'm getting a call. Oh, it's the principal. Hey, Kyle. No, I'm not busy. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Yeah, I'd love to go play beer pong with you guys in the teacher's lounge. <laughs> okay, I'll be there in five. Now, where were we? Could you please just give me some advice? Okay. It sounds like you need to take more time in your daily doings to focus on yourself. Hmm, nifty idea. You mean like rest or meditate? Yes. <laughs> Anything that eases stress and makes you happy. Cool. I'm going to tell all my teachers that I need extra sleep. That sounds like a good idea. Remember, your happiness is more important than your academic performance. Thanks, counselor. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> Party Pat. Um, Party Pat is from PTV. You have a PTV show. I do. It's called Naked Interviews with Party Pat. What's the conceit of this show? So what I do is I get somebody, and generally, I take somebody that you know I don't know very well. Somebody I might have a Snapchat streak with, but you know what I mean. We have oh, I know. somebody I haven't seen naked, and then I take them on the show, and we ask each other very personal, but also very comedic questions. And it's kind of like a drinking game, but instead of drinking, you just get naked. Could you ask, what, like, what kind of questions? Like, ask us some of the questions. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, for real, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, after I finish the question, it's like family feud. You have 10 seconds to answer once I'm done. Okay. Oh, okay. There's gonna be something in this room. It has to be as long as your hand, as thick as your fist, and you have to put it in your butt. 10. Wait. <laughs> Phone. There we go. And yeah, you didn't have to get it or do it. You just have to answer what it would be. Oh, and I don't have to put it in my butt. No, no, you just <laughs> say it. Wait, the question is, what would we put in our butt in this room? Yeah. Oh, like with those standards, though. Like, because if you ask somebody what would you put in your butt, they're always like, oh, like my pencil. Piece of candy. Yeah. 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 So it has to be, I mean, you gotta be able to take that. In. So as thick as a fist and as long as your hand. Well, if I could put anything in my butt, it'd probably be like one of those microphones, you know. But this is my personal property, so like, <laughs> less risk there, I guess. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> what would you put in your butt, Miles? You were so on your hands. Probably the tripod. Yeah? Wow. Fully extended. Yeah. Fully extended. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait, so where Call does, it a where does getting naked come in now? Well, after you answer, you just take off an article of clothing. No matter if you can or can't answer the question? Oh, you have to answer the question. Okay. <laughs> there, there's no option. You have to answer. That and question then, didn't feel personal. Well, that wasn't a personal one. It said personal or comedic. And that one usually uh, gets some laughs, you know? Some people ask, like, real personal shit that I'm not expecting. I try to go for the funny ones because, you know, personal stuff is scary. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Mm. Yellow! <laughs> Yeah, yellow's the best. It's so happy. What's your favorite color? Also yellow. <gasps> really? Yeah. Me too. Yes! Yeah! Yellow, yellow is too neglected. Me too! You know what? My favorite color has been yellow since I was a kid, and I got shit on for it. Like, up until recently, everybody would be like, yellow's the color of pee. That's all I got for the first, like... Well, look at you now. I know. Some of us less hydrated know that pee can look lots of different ways. 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> where can we watch and when can we watch your show? Um, it's on YouTube. If you search Naked Interviews with Party Pat, there's me and a bunch of episodes, hopefully. I, th- I definitely know a few of them are up there. I have a, I have PTV69 a... is on YouTube. Is the name of the channel? Oh, is it? Six nine. Yes. Yeah. So tune in. We got we got cool shit. And if you want to be on the show, literally just hit me up after this because you know we're <laughs> always going to take new people. Um, we we like to do special episodes too, where we get like one of my close friends, and then it gets like real personal. You know? Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's what gets crazy. And you're not wearing clothes. No, exactly. <laughs> and you know, when you're naked, I think that adds like a sense of. Nudity. Vulnerability, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you really get to that. One guy came on, and when he thought it was naked interviews, he thought it was just like really personal shit. And I'm like, no, like we're getting naked. And he he was caught off guard. So now whenever I invite people, I I tell them the premise. Yeah, yeah maybe you should tell people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I learned the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, go watch naked interviews with Party Pat. <laughs> Hey everybody, um, I'm Little Cliff, and this is a song called Forever. It won't be this quiet forever So we lingered on the overpass on the way It was all too hard back then I split myself in half again Stare through the middle, meet in the middle with me Voices ringing through the woods again Where all your family and friends are dancing round the bend With the figures burning holes in the night and no one tells you leaving will be so hard You're feeling nauseous in the morning before your flight Oh, 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 oh. My life in a pool of light And close my eyes Show me to the place where no one dies It could all be yours and mine In time we'll be losing our minds And bodies aching all the time Show me to the place where no one dies Thank you. Hang in there, Timmy. The doctor is going to be in just a minute. Mom, it's really not that bad. I can, I can pull it out myself. Mm-mm. 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 See, I no, I, sh- I shoved it further. <laughs> no, Timmy, Timmy, this is why I tell you not to, not to pick at things. You know, remember what happened to Mr. Tebble. He grew it back. No, no, he died. <laughs> The, the Pickletons? God damn it. No, no pick, nope. Pickletons. Oh, no, no that, that's all right. I just ate. So uh, what seems to be the problem here? All right, well, you know, Timmy, you know... You don't have to tell him. He is your doctor! <laughs> we have to share these kinds of things. It may help him treat your injury. Fine. All right, so Timmy was going to Sex Flags with his school, and he just wanted to ask this girl, Jean Morton, to ride the roller coaster with him. And then he got in line, and he got so nervous that he pissed himself. So then, you know, they had to t- send him home early, and you know, the whole school laughed at him, and it was humiliating for him. <laughs> you know, Ian, I'm sorry, what? Was it not? Was it, just ha- it happened often. Okay? I'll, I'll take a note of that. All right, thank you. Just finish the story. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so they made Timmy go home and change, you know, and his pants, because he peed in them, and then he, you know, he got a paper cut, and yeah, that's why we're here, so, yeah. <laughs> it's a splinter. It's a splinter. You know, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> You gotta stop making up these words, you know, especially to doctors. I'm so sorry. Uh, please, so call sorry. me Dr. Solomon. 
Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, if that is your real name. Nothing has implied it, is it? <laughs> well, uh, may I take a look at your splinter? I guess. Huh. Wait. Which finger? Which finger? Pointer! 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 Pointer. Target spotted. <laughs> <laughs> it seems as though you have a piece of wood gouged up inside of your finger lobe cavity. Is that correct? Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. This is bad. <laughs> it's worse than I thought. Oh, God. This wood, it's, uh, it's not just any wood. This is birch wood. Oh, God, no! Birch <laughs> wood! <laughs> well, safe to say that uh, it's not a very good type of wood. <laughs> it's not! <laughs> Some might even say it's a... Uh, Bad type. Oh god, it's real bad. It's real bad. You've got, to, You've got to be kidding me. You think this is a joke, huh? You think this is a game? You think this is a little silly fun time? We'll tell you what's a game and what's not. When you've been in the field, when you've seen some real shit, when you've seen dark shit, that changes a man. Sometimes literally. <laughs> now I want you to think twice whether or not you're gonna tell me what's a joke and what's a life or death matter. What's a serious matter right now? Carry it! Bring him to the x-ray. Oh, x-ray? No. Oh, God. I'm what? sorry, Timmy. Oh, I'm doing this for your own good. What? I only do this because I know oh, what's best for you. Oh, God, Timmy, we oh, love you. Oh, it's going to be Timmy. okay, honey. We all believe in you, I Timmy. Love you, honey. We are all rooting for you. Good job. It's going to be okay, son. Good job, honey. <laughs> How long do you think he has? Not very long. God, I miss him already. Me too. You know, with Mr. Tibbles gone, and you know, Timmy is all I have left. And you know, he has curly hair and a gentle smile, you know. I know. <laughs> so, how about dinner? Yeah, I can drink. <laughs> There's a lot of potential energy up here. I could say anything. <laughs> I'm gonna say jokes with that power. Um, uh, in terms of the sound mixing, I don't know if this is possible. I just know in my experience when I see comedy and listen to comedies, particularly on a, a Spotify and stuff, when, when the laughter is particularly notable when I can hear the laughter, then I know it's funny that I, that I should be laughing. So when you guys are editing this, if you could just... <laughs> yeah, like that, but like, but it's like, whoa! Um, then there's no question. Um, if, I, if I seem a little off, uh, that is, that's because I'm just getting out of, a super toxic, emotionally and physically uh, taxing head cold. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes that transition out of something so unhealthy can be hard. <laughs> um, but today when I woke up, I could breathe through my nose on the first try, and it was like I was me again. Uh, these are Heelys. Um, yeah, I found them at Goodwill, $10. I only picked them up because they were pink, and then they had a wheel. I don't want the wheel. I think it'll hurt me. Um, I'm trying to get rid of the wheel. I want to do the, the ramen block hack. I want to take the wheel out. I want to take the wheel out, and then I want to do the, the trick where you you seal it. You seal it, and then there isn't a wheel. And um, <laughs> that's my plan. <laughs> Someone suggested audience engagement. Do I, does this make me look like a gnome? Should I, in the future, should I be pulling the hat down more? Because this is, it's okay with it pointy? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, when Google asks, did you just sign in? You're about to wish I hadn't. <laughs> That'll sound so good when it's like boosted. Uh, Google Drive has a feature where, uh, where you can see what other people are doing in the document or the presentation or whatever you're working on. But like watching others backtrack 
and, and edit in real time has always felt voyeuristic <laughs> in nature, um, intimate. For lack of a better term, there's a sexual tension among, <laughs> among those in the collaborative Google Doc. <laughs> And every so often, I'm in a Google Doc on my laptop, but I'm also on the mobile app, <laughs> which Google registers as a separate entity. So I see my cursor, and then I see Dana. And I'm like, would I fuck my clone? <laughs> My, uh, my phone just opened an anime game instead of <laughs> Google Docs. There's a video on YouTube that I really liked when I was younger. Um, <clears throat> and this is going to be my last joke. Uh, <laughs> I really liked a video when I was younger on YouTube. It was a Nigahiga video. Uh, and my favorite part of the video is when Ryan Nigahiga, he calls 911, and they're like, what's your emergency? And he's like, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> and then he hangs up. And, and I thought this was revolutionary and hysterical. Um, so I made that my password on a lot of online accounts. Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, <laughs> there's like a conjunction in there. There's like, there's, don't know if there might be spaces. Uh, it's five words. And um, that was my password. <laughs> So, uh, like, I'd get locked out. I'd get locked out after uh, too, many, too many failed password attempts. And I felt taunted by my own hand. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> That's my set. <laughs> Wow. Wow. We'll, we'll be back only once more this year. Wow. Ah.